What is up, car addicts? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now, again, guys, as much as the community loves the Fast and Furious cars, let's try to focus on some of the other popular movie cars if possible so it's not too repetitive. Eventually, we will get to the Fast and Furious builds, but I do want to make some of the other popular kind of well-known car movie uh, builds before we get into the Fast and Furious stuff, which almost everyone's done. So, <laughs> And to mention here, these little movie scene recreations we do that you see in the beginning of these videos, even though they look sort of simple, they do take many, many hours <laughs> to make, uh, and it's kind of you know crazy to do all that for about a minute of intro in the beginning of the video so I'm probably not gonna be doing them as detailed from now on because they do take way too much time uh, I might just do like a cinematic of the car in the beginning of these intros from now on uh, so I can get these videos out a little faster for you guys and a lot more consistently but anyways in today's video we're gonna be building the 1958 Plymouth Fury from the movie Christine the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is the Declasse Tornado Custom. Now the Tornado is based on a mix of a lot of different 50s cars including the Chevy Bel Air, the Cadillac Fleetwood, Buick, etc. So it's not directly based on the Plymouth Fury. However, there are some design cues on the Tornado from that car. So it is the closest one we have in game, so that's the one we're going to be using for this build. Now, this car can be found on the Benny's website for 30000 or of course you can get off the street for free. However, we are going to be doing the custom variant from Benny's, so that conversion cost for the car is 375000 so do keep that in mind. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the Christine movie, I highly recommend giving it a watch, but basically it's about a possessed car that kills people in some ridiculous ways <laughs> and also repairs itself and... Pretty crazy movie, it's something I think is definitely a good like Halloween movie. Uh, I'm not sure why we're doing this build uh, around the holidays, but uh, it was suggested by you guys and I always stay true to what I say, so here we are. Now, even in GTA during Halloween, Rockstar actually has their version of Christine in game that tries to kill players and even catches on fire just like the movie, which is very very cool, and of course using the tornado. However, even that car is not customized as close as possible to the real one. So again, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the Plymouth Fury Christine build. Alright, Christine, Plymouth Fury, let's do it. What can I help you okay, so first thing you want to do is upgrade to the Tornado Custom. We need this for the uh, special interior and all that stuff, so... Uh, you definitely need this one, and the wheels are very close as well that Benny's offers. Now, something I do want to mention that's a little less accurate, sort of. Um, so, the real Plymouth Fury used in the film was the uh, hard top, as they call it. Um, sort of like this one, the coupe regular version. It was not a convertible. Um, however, you can see right now we are in coupe form, but when we upgrade to the Benny's custom variant, which I'll do here, you can see it actually converts it into a soft top convertible which is kind of forced you know it is what it is but once we have that top in white just like the movie car you really don't notice too much anyway so all right let's get into it first thing i'm going to do is 100 percent armor i mean the car was very strong and usually in these builds anyways i just do max armor and max performance mods for the most part because it makes the fun uh, makes the car a bit more fun to drive but uh anyways uh brakes Technology. bumpers so the first one you're going to want to do here is the chrome bars bumper the real car had a very similar grill to this with the lines going across there so definitely want to do that uh however the bumper wasn't as low as this car you know but uh it's, it's still the closest out of all of them rear bumpers is just spare tires the real car didn't have that so you're going to keep this stock chassis arc covers uh stock as well aerials the antennas also stock trim you're also going to keep the stock tank this one's all personal preference you know um stock looks to be primary color um i think the closest would probably be the chrome uh tank but uh, up to you on this one it really doesn't matter um engine block 
Now the real car had, um, I believe it was chrome valve covers with like red trim, really cool looking. So you can do either the chrome or the chrome ribbed, it's fully up to you. Uh, I'm going to do the chrome ribbed as a kind of a reference to the lines, like the red painted lines that were on the valve covers. I mean you really can't get exact with this one unfortunately, but uh, I'm going to go with this one. Air filters. The real car Making did have the uh, twin carburetors with the twin air filters, very similar to this, which is awesome, so we're going to do that. Engine tunes, max that out too. Like to now for the exhaust, you're going to go here with the twin exhaust. This one's pretty similar. On the real car, it does stick out further, but I mean, I'm surprised we even have this as an option. It's pretty close. Fenders, fender ornaments, the real car has this almost identically, so <laughs> you're going to do that there as well. Um, hood, you're gonna keep the stock. Horn, skip that. Hydraulics, this one doesn't matter. Um, in my opinion, you're better off just leaving it stock to save some money because these options are really expensive. Um, interior, interior design, you're gonna go down to the bottom here and you're gonna select the leather stripe. This is the one that's the, that's the most similar, at least in my opinion, so we're gonna do that. It look nice in there? Trim color. Um, so for this one, it changes the headliner, um, the center of the seat area, also the center of the door panels a little bit, and also it changes the top from the outside as well. So the real car had a white top, so you kind of have no choice in this scenario but to go with the white top. Also have white headliner, but it didn't have the white portion on the seat, so it's just something you kind of have to just deal with. So we'll do it's the cool ice white for this one. Um, accent color. So this one is sort of like the other stripe portion of the seats. Now the real car, it had sort of like a bright red with also a dark red center um, section of the seats. So I do want to kind of do like a reference to that, something kind of similar. So we're going to go here to see the red. We're going to go with the grace red. So we're going to do the base of the seat Torino red. And then we're going to have the grace red for like that contrast. So grace red for that. Ornaments, you're going to skip that. Dash, skip that as well. Stock. Uh, dials. This one's all personal preference. The real car had one of those dials that are kind of similar to like the uh, Peyote. I wish they would have had that as an option for the dash, but all we have is the generic kind of muscle car dash for this car. But you can change the gauges. Uh, I'm personally going to go with the classic 30s negative. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is let me go to light color here so you guys can see for the gauges. Now the real car had uh, at nighttime it had the uh, green kind of glow in the lights and I do want to put like a nice reference to that so we're going to do bright green for the gauges. Good. Um, let's see here back to steering wheels. For this one the closest at least in my opinion is going to be the old school cool. So this one has a pretty similar steering wheel in terms of the uh, the, the spokes of the wheel and also the the sort of like chrome trim line that goes underneath that little piece there in real life it's a horn you kind of press that down it's really cool so we're gonna do that Hope it feels good. Uh, column shifters stock plaques also stock light color we did that um, headlights so in GTA the phantom car as they call it has the red headlights but um, the real car, the headlights never turned red, they were always yellow, so we're going to keep that in the stock color there. Uh, now, alternatively, it, it, depending on what you want to do, I believe the real car had like a green glow in the grill sometimes when it was possessed or whatever, so uh, you could do like a front-only neon green uh, underglow if you want, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. Delivery stock. Uh, let's see here. Plates. So the real card did not have a plate frame, so you're going to skip that. Stock as well. Uh, this one also stock. Now the license plate on the real car was a yellow with black background, which we can't do here unfortunately. And the letters uh, in the movie, the plate drink? was a CQB241. Obviously iFruit is currently broken, so just is what it is. <laughs> so um, we're going to go ahead and do the other way around, which is a uh, black, well, a black background with the yellow letters. Um, with just the random text we got here. Uh, respray color for this. We're going to go here to classic. You want to make sure you put classic. It's a non-metallic red. We're going to go to Reno red. Don't she look pretty? Um, and then uh, let me show you guys here really quick. So this color not only changes the exterior, 
but it also changes the entire dash you can see it changing there with the primary color it's really weird and the carpeting the door panel and this kind of section of the seats and with the red I mean this is pretty similar it, minus the white on the seats but I mean and, and a little bit of white on the door panels but I mean other than that even the steering wheel is now red that's it's so cool I mean it's so similar we have the two kind of Technology tones of red there I absolutely love that um, accent color we did that when we did the interior trim color we did that as well when we did the interior um, roof you're gonna keep this stock transmission I'm gonna put that trunk um, also you know if you want to save some money I, I wouldn't I would just probably skip this personally turbo I'm not gonna do that just so we don't have the turbo sound um, wheels so for this one a lot of people put either the let's see if I find it here uh, where are they this is oh originals my bad a lot of people put these the smoothies or they put put them find them here or they put these all chrome uh, the real car it, it it's sort of like a hubcap wheel but it also has like spokes on it um, in terms of like the cover <laughs> so at least to me the closest is going to be in Benny's originals the OG Hunnets. These right here, I think these are very, very similar for the most part. They're not identical, but in my opinion, at least, I think these are the closest. Obviously, people have different preferences on the wheels, but I, I this is the one I'm going to do. At least to me, it was the closest out of all the wheels options we have in the game. So I'm going to do that. A very important tire design. You're going to go with the classic white wall. Now, some people also use the full white wall, but on the real car, the white uh, white wall didn't go that far into the tire. I think that's a little excessive, so I'm gonna stick with the classic white wall there. What you were looking for? Uh, windows. Now, when the car during the day, when the car wasn't killing people, <laughs> the windows were like this, transparent. Probably light smoke would be the closest. Actually, you know, probably transparent. But then at night, um, all the windows when it was killing people, <laughs> all the windows would go fully like dark, like almost beyond limo tint it looked like black paint <laughs> on the windows no even the windshield uh so i do want to do kind of like a reference to that so i'm just going to go with the limo unfortunately we can't tint the um the windshield but uh at least to me the limo tint is a nice reference and kind of goes with the green gauges too i think it looks sick so we'll do that and that's all the options there we now have as close as we can christine build and gta online absolutely love it all right, let's take it to a for a second for a drive. Not take it to a drive. <laughs> take it for a drive. Exit to ground here. Oh, it's currently nighttime. Isn't that funny? Now it is snowing currently at the time of this recording. You know, I am filming this in December, so <laughs> there is snow currently in GTA Online. But uh, yeah, kind of ironic seeing Christine in the holiday season here. <laughs> but uh, look at those green gauges. Oh my god, that's so sick at night. Oh man. That is awesome, the white top and everything. Wow. I am very, very happy with this. That is, I I'm definitely going to keep this. Now that we're getting more garage space with the drip feed of one of the garages uh, coming up, I'm definitely going to have um, more than one movie car garage. Now the Tornado, you know, this thing is a cruiser. It's in the sports classics class. It doesn't really handle all that great. It's very slow. It's something you just have to cruise around in or make movie car builds like this. <laughs> So, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not going to drive it around too much because there really isn't much to talk about, you know, <laughs> especially in the snow. But it's the tip. Everybody knows the tornado. Um, very sluggish, slow handling, the way it should be. You know, it's, it's slow. The handling's kind of like boat like. It, it just is what it is, kind of the way it's supposed to be. Now, as I was talking about earlier, um, you wouldn't really know it's a convertible at first glance until you actually, you know, hold the button. Um, of course, it shouldn't be, but, you know, obviously just never use that and you're good. <laughs> so, and you have that look. Now, we already saw pretty much everything when we were customizing it, but let's still, um, let's still here open up all the doors and stuff. Let's go all. The engine bay there looks fantastic. I really wish we can put some red accents on that. Uh, red valve covers, I think, is too much. I think, I think you're better off with the chrome, but uh, still looks great there. Interior floor mats are white I guess that's part of like the I think it was the accent color where it has the white top and all that it still looks fantastic I mean considering this is GTA I mean it's so crazy how close you can get with cars like this I, I absolutely love it 
even the green gauges too i mean that little detail is crazy absolutely crazy but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the christine build and as always let me know in the comments what movie slash tv show build you want to see me do next thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one